Hello guys, uh, I'm uh, Madhur Ahmed from Kalpunin Games. So I'm just gonna start making a new 2D game. Uh, it's gonna be 2D top down, but uh, the problem that I'm facing right now to make a 2D top down, uh, I don't know how to make the top down thing. Uh, basically the tiles, how to make the tiles and stuff like that. If anyone knows, uh, let me know so I can make. And uh, so basically what I've done, whenever I start a project, I create a new project and I choose like the 2D option without importing any packages or anything. And right after that, I make folders, whatever folders I need. And it's a really nice practice to have uh, like the folders already made uh, beforehand you start your project. And after that, it keeps things your uh, things organized. So what I've done, I have made all the folders that I have need. Basically animations, audio, fonts, images, imported tools, materials, and as you see over here. And, and there's some folders in there. There's some clips and there's controllers under animation. And there's audio, audio for effects, enemy, music, and player. And also under the prefabs, I have characters, effects, environments, and props and UI. And sp under sprites, I have the same thing: character, effects, environment, props, and UI. Props means the vegetations and whatever environment kind of thing you have. Uh, so those are the props. Okay. So uh, right after that, I have went ahead and create uh, some two scripts tile window i'm playing with tile window is a thing that i gone from got from youtube i don't understand it yet so i'm not going to explain that i have to understand it first and after that i will try to explain and uh, i have already opened all this uh, two entity and two player class so what i have done over here i went ahead and made an entity class it's in here it's from mono behavior so i kind of customized my whatever whenever i make a new script i want to keep the region and it's so i can minimize something like this and that and if you want to know how you can do that i can tell you how to do that so please let me know and uh, i made the name the class entity what this class gonna do it's gonna have uh, contain everything for every kind of every entity meaning like enemies uh, things then like an interactable npc then uh, an npc that can hit you then uh, talk and stuff like that okay so for this we need some public variables uh, one in this public variables a string of course with the uh, name of the player name of the enemy and stuff like that and what is age is an rpg game so he needs an age makes it looks good then what fraction he is in then what uh, occupation he is level and etc and etc it goes on okay and also we have made public vector position uh, two and after, and after that i made another script which is a uh, player scars so basically what i'm doing right now is to have a foundation of uh, the starting point so i went ahead and made a player script and um, it's gonna not gonna be inherit from um, mm -hmm. mono behavior but uh, it's gonna inherit from the entity class that we previously made and uh, the player thing gonna have three public thing it's gonna have an inventory in inventory what things that he's gonna he or she gonna have and then the public string and the what are the skills that can uh, he or she is gonna have then the public int money so yeah that's pretty much for it right now and uh, so i will update uh, like within 15 or 20 minutes and make another tutorial so stay tuned thank you